what is going on my friends today back with another quick easy tutorial I want to bring you guys some tips to help you mask faster and better in Premiere and After Effects if you guys are doing a lot of editing you know that masking is super long painstaking annoying to do especially when you're first starting out you can literally take hours just trying to mask people out in Premiere so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you guys some tips that are gonna make you be able to do this a lot faster um, the result is gonna be a lot better it's gonna be a lot easier to do something that's super super important and I think it's gonna help you in the long run so so anyways let's get right into these tips I'm gonna start off by showing you guys in Premiere because I feel like a lot more beginners start in Premiere and I'm also gonna show you guys the equivalent of that in After Effects right here so we're gonna be working through both of this okay, so my very first tip is actually a super simple one but I feel like not a lot of people do this I know that I know that I didn't do this first starting out and I think that I struggled a lot from not knowing this and this is just to zoom in whenever you are masking especially in Premiere so I'm gonna show you guys so I'm gonna show you guys just starting off how to mask if you guys would like to check out some other tutorials where I do some masking in Premiere or I talk about some different ways to mask in After Effects I have a video called three different ways to mask in After Effects that will be linked in the description I'm gonna come over here to my effects library and I'm just going to look up the crop effect I'm gonna go ahead and drag crop onto my video I'm gonna come up here in the top left to my effect controls and then I'm just gonna click this pen tool under crop Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the video right here. And now I'm going to use that tip that I just showed you. So I'm going to go full screen and to go full screen. You're going to click this little squiggly key next to the one on your keyboard. It's right underneath escape. It's going to make it full screen like this. And this is super, super helpful for masking in Premiere. If you guys have watched a couple of the videos on my channel, you know that I always say if you're masking in Premiere for whatever effect you're doing, always be doing it in full screen to make this a lot more accurate. So the equivalent of that is if you hold down control alt in, in After Effects, you'll be able to zoom in. If you didn't know this is how you mask in after effects you just come up here click the pen tool and start drawing hold down control alt use your mouse wheel and you'll just be able to zoom in just like that and you'll be able to make super accurate masks within after effects so that is actually one of my other tips is if you want better masking i would say invest in after effects the way that i do it is i use premiere with after effects linking you'll be able to work within both so let's go back into premiere and let me just show you some more little tips that you guys can use i'm going to show you two in premiere that are going to make it a lot better i'll show you how to do them in after effects as well so let me go back and let me make another mask and just start drawing i'm going to start clicking here now here's the thing you don't want to just click 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 because you're going to see that these joints are kind of square that there's a lot more room being cut out here so what you want to do whenever you're masking is i'm going to make my first click here is you want to click and hold the mouse button and you can actually bend the way the mask is like this so i'm holding the mouse button down as i do this and you can actually change the way this bends get everything in that mask just like this if you see this kind of bends off you can just move these things right here change around the joints just like that very simple so this is just going to make your mask a lot more accurate especially in premiere um, if you're kind of just clicking it's going to be super choppy so this is something that you should definitely know how to do if you want to make good looking mask or it's always or all your masking is going to just kind of look like paper cuts if you'd like to make any adjustments to this, all you have to do is just click on a specific joint. You're going to see these two little selectors come up. You can actually move this any way to be able to actually change that. This is something that's super useful. Um, whenever you want to finish off your mask, just click on the last anchor point that you did and then just connect it all the way at the end. And then if you want to just crop everything out, inverted left 100% and you'll see that you have that cropped out just like that. And of course you can do the same exact thing in after effects if you just click on the joint you'll see that these little bendy things come up you can change how that moves around super super useful if you're going to do the masking and then as well you can actually click and drag and bend it however you'd like so let's go back into premiere so if we come over here to our effect controls you're going to see a bunch of different options mask path feather opacity and expansion what we're going to do is we're going to be changing around the mask feathers so this is something that is very important it can actually blend together and make your mask a lot better so if we make the zero and actually zoom in you're going to see how actually choppy this is even with using the bendy joints the real magic to be able to make the mask look good and sellable is if we actually bump up the feather so it actually starts out on default as 10 but the more you bump that up the more you're going to have the soft edge and as you see it just kind of expands if i select the mask um this kind of dashed line right here that's where the feather is going so if i move that around you're going to see the dashed line is moving around as well depending on the masking that you're doing you're going to want to play around with that setting to be able to get the best desired output that you can get so i'm going to show you the equivalent in after effects real quick i'm going to mask this out right here so if you guys didn't already know all you have to do is select this layer in after effects click the m key to bring up your mask and you're going to see this is the and this is the mask options for after effects like i said if you want better masking use after effects because it's going to help you you can actually change if you want your mask to be adding subtracting intersect light and all that good stuff so for mask 2 let's set that to subtract to cut that part out let's click on this little 
let's click on this little triangle right here and here's our mass feather option that i was talking about just like in premiere all i have to do is bump up the pixels and you're going to see that that becomes a little bit more soft not like rough on the edges and to do the same for the very first mask of around the outside so let's open up the options for mask number one and then let's bump up the mask feather on number one you're going to see just kind of gets a little bit brushed out a little more blended and that looks a lot better that, that actually looks like he's almost completely separated from the background and you can definitely apply some cool effects onto that and not have it looking choppy okay guys so those were just some quick little tips i just wanted to share it with you because i feel like it's going to save you so much time if you have that knowledge it's something that i really genuinely wish that i knew first starting out because it honestly probably would have saved me hours of time trying to figure out how to do that trying to make good masking trying to create some of those beginner effects that i was first experimenting with with masking uh, masking is something that you're going to need to know if you're editing it's a huge key part and to be able to create those kind of more intermediate and advanced effects so anyways guys thank you so much for watching like i said if you're new here consider clicking that subscribe button to join the community leave a like comment subscribe do all that good stuff anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later